Hello, Overclockers. I'm 8-Pack. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Thanks to you keyboard warriors asking for benchmarks on my Supernova system, marketing have been really on my case about it. In response to them, here we go. With some Supernova Mark III benchmarks, yep, we're gonna do CPU stuff, we're gonna do GPU stuff, we're even gonna do some gaming. Right, all that being said, let's get into it. Let's quickly refresh the hardware in this Supernova Mark III. We've got a 96 core Threadripper CPU, overclocked to 4.4 on all the cores for all workloads. We've got seven 4090 GPUs by NVIDIA. They're also overclocked, where we're adding about 100 megahertz to the core of the GPU and 300 to 500 megahertz to the memory. This means that the GPU is boosting consistently to well over 2,900 megahertz, yes, on all seven. This overclocking is enabled, obviously, by keeping the GPUs and the CPU to a very low temperature. And to achieve this, we've got custom water cooling throughout the system. Most of it's made by Nexlus, and some of it is also custom made parts here at Overclockers. You can't buy this system off the shelf, you have to come to us. Before we benchmark this system, let's explain a little bit about our procedures. This system here next to me has gone through actually many weeks of testing to ensure its absolute stability in anything the customer might choose to run. Okay, that being said, now let's go into the benchmarks and try and break some world records. The first benchmark I tried on this system after doing our stability testing was Cinebench. So let's run the benchmark and see how it, this system fared. So that's Cinebench complete, what were the scores? Well, Cinebench on CPU alone was 5.5K, a pretty solid result with 96 cores. And Cinebench run on all seven GPUs gave us over 180K, which is a world record according to HWBot's database of scores. So not bad for a first benchmark. The second benchmark uh, I'm gonna run now is V-Ray. So let's see how the system fares in that one. Okay, so in V-Ray, uh, on the GPUs alone, we scored 51.7K, which is a record for seven 4090 GPUs. And also, we scored over 202K on the CPU. Next, we'll te test the rendering potential of the CPU on Corona 10 and see how that one scores. On this particular benchmark, which is rendering solely on CPU, we managed a massive 42.3K, which is again, a world record. It's becoming a bit easier, this world record lap, to be honest. Finally, let's check this system out in Blender. When we're uh, normally testing Blender, we're doing it on CPU only, and an overclocked Ryzen CPU normally gives us a time of about an hour on our CAN test. Well, wait for it. This system, when we run it, which I'm gonna do now, produces a pretty good score. So given that a Ryzen CPU overclocked in Blender gives us about an hour result, I wonder how fast the seven GPUs plus 96 core CPU in this machine can do. Oh, one minute, 40 seconds. Not half bad, even by eight pack standards. So that's the workstation benchmarks done. Three world records, not too bad for a first go. That being said, you're probably wondering what was the power draw while we're running all these benchmarks. Well. While running heavy rendering on CPU and GPU simultaneously, the peak power draw can be up to 3,000 watts. And obviously that really just shows the prowess of the cooling uh, and the, to get the full performance out of this system all the time. Because the GPUs, no matter what load you hit them with, uh, average out at about 55C on every single GPU with peaks of up to 60. And the standard deviation across the GPUs is usually less than one degree C. So every GPU is getting a similar flow rate of similar amounts of cool fluid. The CPU, even massively overclocked and pulling over 900 watts itself, uh, never reaches more than 80 degrees, with the average temperature on that when rendering around 75 degrees. So it's the cooling and of course our skills, or indeed of course my skills, that make this system great. This PC is obviously not meant for gaming, it's a workstation PC. 
But as you guys ask for it, we've done some gaming benchmarks anyway. What you'll notice about the gaming benchmarks is they're not that great. In fact, they're very similar to a high-end, I would say, gaming machine, especially when you push to 4K. The reason really why they're not scrape screaming like, this is amazing, this is amazing, is because the CPU is 96 cores and gaming is taking uh, use of maybe six or eight cores maximum, and therefore it's not taking use of the power of the CPU. We've got 512 gig of memory in this machine, uh, which obviously, again, gaming is not really making use of any more than 32 gig, and we've got seven GPUs in this machine, and obviously gaming only can use a maximum of one, so the scores do not scale whatsoever with the extra six GPUs. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to buy this world record breaking PC, check out the links in the description below. Or obviously contact us directly and we can configure it for you. You can basically have any color or any configuration that'll fit within the case. But I suggest you pick this one. Finally, don't like, don't subscribe, but do check out my other video on this amazing system.